Same old story, getting towards the end of the day. We thought we were hot shit. We were putting this plank in. Got the glue down, we start screwing and I go, damn, forgot the rabbit. <laughs> so we'll just chisel it in. Chisel it out, yeah. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today is we'd probably just fit these two courses, get them drilled, and we'll see. We, you know, we have to make that stupid little piece there because that's gonna take an hour per side to make that easily. All that trouble for that. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but I love baking them. This is one. Wait, you're laying antique deck, so you got to keep thinking about five or six moves ahead. Okay, sure. Like playing chess. You just can't start slamming blanks down. See what we'll do is these these two kind of have to go in together. Which one? What, this these next two, these two to slide underneath there. <coughs> gotcha, gotcha. We were thinking, boy, we can slide them this way, but I'm thinking, boy, with the glue on there, it would look like a snowplow. Yeah, back today, a little stiff. Huh? The weather. Man. Like Betty Davis said, getting old ain't for sissies. <laughs> no, it ain't for sissies. No. No, you are right about that. <laughs> no wonder it's not it. You want it to where you set this up, you, hear, you don't hear anything. Right. As close as you can be without hearing anything. See that? Yeah, nice. So that should be close. what this little unit is called? This is a feather board? Feather board. So called because it, well, it looks like a feather. Oh. It's grippy, but not too grippy? Yeah, well, it does many things. It, it keeps the, the piece against the fence, so they all come out the same. But also, if you try to pull it back, you see that? Yeah, it bites it. Yeah, and that's not really important for what we're doing. Such a small cut, but uh, if you're doing a bunch of big stuff, you know, then it's yeah. well. How's the material holding up? Awesome. Vo Volume-wise, plenty of good stuff. Yeah. 
Great. Go up and take a look at what's. Well, that works. Thank you, Ted. Ted. So much for safety as it is for because these pieces are so long and floppy. Mm -hmm. You want your depths to be the same, just because. Twelve, fifteen pieces there? These are the four that are already cut. Okay, so we'll take these first. I don't know if you did you cut the butts on them already? Or just the Jess, okay. These are ready to go. Okay. So we'll um, we'll put them in. Pre-drill them. And then draw the line on the back number. Mm -hmm. But we can just leave them in. No use uh, put let me think about this. These are already been fitted. You just have to Yeah. There's an odd ball. We, we can't put these in because it has to go in, slip underneath the combing. Okay. So if we put these in, we pin ourselves in the corner. So, there we hate doing that. So, we can put them in, pre drill tack them in place. Draw the line. Draw the line, take the middle, this one out. But you know what? We just leave them For now. until we get course number five in. These are all down? Oh yeah, they're glued in. They're glued in. Glued and screwed. <laughs> nice. Is everybody happy with the way they came out? Oh yeah. About the uh, the the butt schedule. Yeah. It's great. This one's quite dark. Look at the color of that one. Ultimately, yeah. They turn color pretty fast too. All right, so we're getting we're getting to see what the king plank's going to look like. Yeah, it's going to come in nicely. What were some of the big challenges here? The big challenges? Yeah. Just laying it out, I think. Yeah. Cutting the lumber and going through it, finding the pieces. Find the right pieces that fit, or the longest ones. You want to end up with a bunch of butts in one area, so it's... <laughs> yeah, yeah. How's it been so far? Pretty good? Look oh, at yeah. this. Sweet. So... We'll never have to do this dead again. It's got to come this way about four inches. 
Somewhere in there. Yeah, let's pull it this way. It's easier to knock it that way. Okay, you ready? See how that one had to slip on her? You see how this one had to slip under the combing? Yes. Well, we had to make a, a custom sanding block because this was really uneven underneath here. And then sand it upside down <laughs> in order to get, <clears throat> yeah, in order to get this dimension correct on both sides. Um, let's see, okay, ready? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. That's gonna be exciting when there's glue on there. <laughs> so these, uh, you're gonna have well, to carry reverse king plank here. We'll, so we'll have to drink with the chimney sweeps. <laughs> Go, yes sir, I'm ready. You just need a wedge here. So you can start there, that's fine. A little more. That's, that's good. Okay. Okay, you gotta come this way about three quarters or so. Okay, easy, easy, come on. That's it. One little tiny one. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, the majestic sweep of the planks. This one has to go about a sixteenth clip to the north or west. Easy, yeah. Come on. Good. All right. Let's get this other side in, then we'll we'll see how it looks. Now let's pretend we got glue on this. We'll have our popsicle sticks. But you know what? That doesn't move that much, so we won't need them here. Yep, we're good. We might put a, a disc here and there, you know. If we need it, I don't even know if we need it. All right, now we need to set them. A little tap, uh, 16th on this one. Good. You gotta go about an inch and a half. Oh, really? That's all right. Half inch. Come on. Okay, easy. One more. Um, that's good for now. A little more. One more. One more. <laughs> okay. Good. Excellent. This this came loose a little bit and just tighten this. Coming. Good. So you can see 
So the nibs here, this will kind of come to an arrowhead. Yep. This is going to be the rear king plank. Stern. Stern there's king no, plank. Uh, well, no, of course, I know. Well, yes. Yeah, there's no rear in the boat. No rear, I know. <laughs> there's Stern no front, no plank. rear, and no. First king no, plank. Stern. Stern aft. Aft. <laughs> so you there just you know. said it. Or stern. <laughs> um, Very good. Yeah, like in an engine room, they don't go all forward full. They never say forward. Okay. Because that can sound like port. Okay. They yell all ahead. All ahead. All back. Okay. Very good. As opposed to all astern. <laughs> I have sometimes tugboats. The next ones here, they're not they're just gonna be short ones. Which ones? Where? The next the next course. Right? Or will it just fit underneath? Yeah, this this one here. Yeah. It's only gonna be five, six feet long. Right here. Give her a custom sanding block. Had to glue that sandpaper on there to slither this under, so it acted like an upside down plane. Right. To sand that, to get that all in the same plane and level. And it came out okay, obviously. Okay. So okay. Came what do you mean? Perfectly. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> came out awesome. That well, and this nice. this is going to be a bolt, of course. Okay. So. If there's any discrepancies, it's going to get caulked and bolted down. Right, now for that reason, this one is tricky a little bit. You have to drill it out. You're going to have to drill that? drill that hole through all the way through at the perfect spot. Yeah, we'll just drill from up here. See, we added some blocks under here. Okay. They didn't have it before. So we put a one inch block on both sides to take this bolt. Oh, beautiful. Um, so when we go to actually install that, um, It'll have like that much, like two inches of timber. See, a lot of this is about layout. I mean, planks, butts, available material, tapers, nibs, and so forth. And this is two planks wide, that's three planks wide. Okay. So there's four, and then five. And so when you start getting into here, you can see where your planks are gonna terminate. This one's kind of stop actually here somewhere. See the winch pads are here. Yes. So we can put butts under here. So you like that? You like oh, I pads? love it. Yes. Yeah. Because they're being held down. Right. So rather than have a feather right there, yeah. we're going to stop this plank about here somewhere. Fill it. And then this plank Number eight will be about two and a quarter wide here, but it's it'll quickly taper. See it? Yeah. And then it will end up. Uh, where are we here? Four. There we go. It'll end up under here. Okay. So we won't have any feathers, and then this piece here. will be the only one with a feather, but we're gonna make that a little bit custom. Okay. So you won't see a bunch of feathers here. And you sure won't see any butts in this area. See how this one, see how that one ends here? Yeah, right underneath. Yeah, so our next plank, number six, right. will start here. It can go, and we've already got it laid out. See this? Okay. That's this, this gonna, that's that plank that starts there, Right. We'll go up 12 feet, four inches. Is up here. Course number six. Okay. Yeah. And then this will be a nine four. See it up there? The and it goes up the bow. Okay. So when you get into here, you can see that this. This is the widest part of the boat, remember? Okay. So this is seven planks wide, but we'll actually only go six. This is five planks, right. roughly. This would be seven. Well, yeah. it won't be seven, it'll only be, it'll only be six wide because this plank here is gonna be about two and a half wide. Okay. Tapering down to five-eighths or nice something. Nice wide one. Well, it'll be, yeah. Only for a little bit. 
Hold for a little while. Okay. So you can see that three planks comes in here nice, touches right there. See it? Oh, beautiful. Now, it doesn't here because this isn't dead onto this. Okay. You have a tiny shave there. Okay. Four planks. See, it comes in right there. See it? Yeah, beautiful. Yep. Makes a nice nib there for that fifth one. Yeah. Beautiful. And then this one, five planks, comes right wow, into there. that's perfect. And then, of course, six planks back, back here. Just makes it. See that? Okay. I mean, it, you have to shave it a little bit. Yeah. That's it. So that's beautiful. The way they're coming in is all of what it's about. Now up here, ah, uh, oh, this will work. Let me see. See this plank here that's going to be coming in this way. Number seven. Okay. This one coming there. Just because of the way this is, this will be a regular plank. This will have a notch in it. Okay. That's all you can do. Now this is one. Wait. You're laying teak deck, so you got to keep thinking about five or six moves ahead. Okay, sure. It's like playing chess. You just can't start slamming blanks down. See how that comes in right there? Tiny shave. planks yet? That's beautiful. Five planks? Wow, so that's one whole plank in that one section. Yeah. Reduce it by one full plank. Yeah. And then we come in here with this one. Mm. Same as the other side, within, you know, as close as you can get. See, it's just like the other side. We gotta take a little off of this. Right. Not a big. Custom, you know, you'll have to take an eighth off here or a sixteenth off here. Ten four. And same thing happens again on the other side. Right. And here we're gonna have to cut this back a little. It's got a weird shape in here. It's not gonna look good. So we're gonna cut this back probably to here somewhere. Okay. Just because... To make it, it come in a little nicer? Yeah. You remember when we sawed all these? Yeah. Well, we didn't just start sawing. We, we laid that all out in relationship to this margin board and whatnot. Okay. So that this would happen. But being here, that's the original shape there. And so you can see that this, this plank, which is only going to go to here, don't forget. It's only going to go there from how far then? Oh, somewhere up there. Okay. And we'll put a butt here, just like on the other side, so we don't have a feather there. Yeah. We'll put a butt here, and this plank yeah, will. Yeah. And then this plank will be about oh, two and a half. Quickly go down to two right there. See it? So if you're looking for it, you'll see that, but nobody's going to see it. Same old story. It's getting towards the end of the day. We thought we were hot shit. We we're putting this plank in. Got the glue down. We start screwing. I go, damn! Forgot the rabbit. <laughs> so we'll just chisel it in. Chisel it out. Yeah. One thing about teak, it's very easy to work. Okay. Yeah. It's very, very easy to work. So there you go. That's that's and you know, no matter how careful you are, things always vary a sixteenth or so because the boat, after all, isn't symmetrical. <laughs> Right. By any stretch. Right. Right. And even if it was when it was brand new, all the stuff the boat's been through with sailing and whatnot, mm -hmm. they get out of symmetry. Sure. So that's where we're at. Give it more, you're trying to get some symmetry back. Well, if nothing else, just hide the fact that it's not. Yeah. You know, but you can only see one side of the boat at a time. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, Except the, the only very front and the very back. The only reason we have the butts are the same on each side. It's so we don't have to think about it more than once. Okay. We can lay out one side and cut all the planks the same. And, you know, mm -hmm. That's all. It doesn't matter in any way whatsoever structurally. Uh, you just want, you know, just for looks, you want to space them as far as you can. 
with the uh, available material. Okay, so what's, uh, what's the plan for <coughs> What are we going to see now? Well, what we'll do here is we'll probably pre-drill these. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll mark this one here for this. Yeah, we'll have to mark this pencil line when we get them clamped in nice. Because yeah. uh, remember right I here. Just yeah, right there that one. Sides, but it's yep. really well. um, you drill them every every frame. Oh yeah. Every frame. Okay, so that's not no real trick about where you're gonna <laughs> where you can just follow the frame line that you've got pre drawn. Mm-hmm. We did that a year ago. Now here I see they're one a little bit off here. Where? Or did this one right here? Oh yeah, well see this is a wide beam. Right. So we do that. We did it here on this wide uh, beam. Very nice. I see. Uh, whenever you can. It doesn't mean anything, but gotcha. you just try to do that. It's just a practice that you do that you do. Gotcha. Now it looks like you've countersunk them pretty damn deep. Is that because the plugs? Mm -hmm. so you always countersink teak decks real deep because they'll wear down. Right. Number one. Number two, teak, you have to be real careful when you're gluing it. So the deeper the plug, the bigger the gluing surface. If that plug's only this deep, you're going to have trouble in a year or two. So, and these plugs, because this deck is pretty thin, or screws, you, you leave them in, of course, they are part of the structure, but they're basically little tiny clamps. Which one? The, the plugs? The, the screws. The screws. They're basically little clamps until the glue dries. I see. So you're saying they don't provide the, ultimately that much of the strength? Well, they do. They're, they're backing up the glue, and of course they are, you're not going to take them out. <laughs> they're going through the ply and over an inch into the deck. No, into the deck, yes, but the, the, in the teak itself. Right. They're, but they're grabbing it by what? A quarter inch at that About that, point. yeah. Now I gotta tell you though, if you if there was no glue and you tried to rip this plank up, mm -hmm. couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. If even if there was no glue. Yeah. So and you can see how strong it's getting now. Let's make a mm, yeah. Let's make a real good pencil line. And of course for our glue too. See what we'll do is these these two kind of have to go in together. Which one? But this these next these oh, two to slide underneath there. <coughs> gotcha, gotcha. We were thinking, boy, we can slide them this way, but I'm thinking, boy, with the glue on there, it would look like a snowplow. Gotcha. It'd so have that. It'd ruin the glue joint. I mean, it'd just push the glue everywhere. See, as it is, we use these little sticks. They go underneath while we're bending it, so that the glue doesn't get. Shove this way, uh, and then we get them. Pull those out at the end. Yeah, and then let it drop down. Bang it down. So you're not just pushing the glue. That's right. right. It's it really. It's not that messy if you do all that. It, okay. But anyway, here this piece came back all nicely polished. Yep. Yeah. Right. Came out pretty good, huh? Beautiful. And it fits. See the height? Nice. This all had to be refitted because it was all uh, oh, yeah. to the old <laughs> deck. Uh -huh. Just sunk it. Great. Yeah, no, polished out nice. And when this is all done, we'll sand all this together. Right. So it's all the same. So once it's down and finished, then you can sand it. Caulk, too. And caulk, yeah. And there's many reasons to do that. If you sand this with a, a, a soft pad, circular sander. Yeah. It'll make little hairs in the seams that you won't see until later. Okay. <laughs> That's one reason. The other reason is you caulk it when it's raw like this. The caulking is your gauge. As soon as it gets even, you know you're done sanding. As soon as, as, soon as the excess starts going away, you, you, you're done with the machine sanding. You still have some around the edges. But you stop with the, the so sander. So caulk first, sand later. Yeah, you sand this with the soft pad until the caulking's almost gone around here. And then you finish it off by hand with a sanding block like this. So it's nice and even and uh, 
everything's good. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today is we'll probably just fit these two courses, get them drilled, and we'll see. We, you know, we have to make that stupid little piece there because that's gonna take an hour per side to make that easily. Which one? This thing is shaped like a spear. It has to come in here and hook around this mm. and go to touch this bolt and back to there. Because see our piece of teak coming in this way will notch around the bolt. The piece of decking that goes right here. Gotcha. But in order to hide this seam underneath this combing. So you can see that this was in, this spear wouldn't fit. You couldn't get it in. Oh, I see, so you gotta get that in now. What are you doing to my deck? Battery? No. Nope. Here. So we just need some small wedges. That'll tighten this up. And... Now this is just to get it in perfect position for uh, drilling? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if you look down here, you can see just the tiniest it doesn't mean anything, but you might have. Well. This is trying to go straight here. Yeah. So we're trying to maintain this little, very little curve here, but there's enough where you have to pay attention. That's, not, perfect. That's not perfectly straight. No. <clears throat> this, this part of the boat has the least curve. See that? Yeah. That's it. That's all it needed. So these are ready to drill. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll just leave all this rigged up. I'm just gonna mark them. Well, what you do is you make this piece where you just love it. <laughs> and then you try them out dry before you do the glue. Sure. And it probably, this piece will, can, can and will go in first. Yeah. So that's what we're thinking. See, this plank has to slip under this way to get into that combing. As well. Right, There's so. This will be sitting over here. Yeah. Glue spread, we're ready to go. Install the spear, because it can't, it can only go in one place. And then slip this one in. And slip this one in, just like we did a little while ago. And what we talked about earlier was probably what we'll do today before we leave here is glue two of these together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then all we gotta do is lay the pattern on and cut it. Got it. If we have some white, which I think we do. This one's butted here. All right, already. You'll see about half of it right here. That's why it's gonna be 12 four long. It's gonna go way up there. All right. And then after that, we can do anything we want here. We can use some of the short stuff. Because yeah. this is solid timber right here. All right. By the time we put the teak on, this will be like two inches thick. Really hard to find nowadays. You ever seen these? Actual lead pencil. You can get 20 of them for a dollar. A lead pencil. Made in Merca by Merkins. Ticonderoga. Yeah, don't be fooled by substitutes. Ticonderoga. What you do is you get your heights. Just like spiraling a plank on the hull. We'll call that four. You can see that it's, it's not very big, but it has to be done. Yeah, well, these are called heights. That comes from deck uh, hull planking. Instead of sitting there using a, a divider or any kind of a spiling block, once you get one line correct, this one, then all you need to know is this width here at, at certain points. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then you just measure out, make a little mark. Okay. And away you go. What we'll do is just this. We'll just run this along here to get our final final. Gotcha. What we're worried about right now is this curve in the combing. Ah, okay. Got any bullets in it? Yes. Okay.
See anything good in there? Looks good enough for us. Leave the line plus, like not an eighth, but a little bit of meat left. Probably want to cut that with a saber saw. Saber saw and then just plant it. Yeah, cut it real carefully. Perfect, perfect. Oh, this is wrong. Sorry. So what we'll do now, is like you say, this pattern is pretty vulnerable. We don't want to be cutting on it back here. We'll just lay this out on a piece of teak and then massage the teak in there. But you can see this has to be made first. So you're saying this will now be one piece mm -hmm. and it'll butt underneath the winch support. Yeah. And coming out the other side will be two? Yeah, or real planks. Real planks. Yeah, real American planks. Real. <laughs> <laughs> so this plank's gonna get kind of narrow. It'll come in here somewhere right. and be a little tiny butt. Hide that. Right. That way you don't have a feather. Then this plank, you can see that it comes out here. Okay. We'll butt it somewhere in here. So there's no feather. Okay. Yeah, you see, because this, this plank here is like 15-1 or something. All right. And our longest piece, of course, is only 14-7. <laughs> so it'd be, it would have been nice. But, so we'll have a butt in there somewhere. Okay. And so this plank, we'll have the butt in three, two or three frames away from that, just for appearance. So we need to take these out. Boom, 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 boom. You got the line drawn? Yep. Okay, here we go. Let me get this out. This was harassing us on the other side. Oh. Yep. Is that lovely? Whew. <laughs> you know, not bad though. Not bad on the curve, but look how far off the bolt side. See the grain? Okay. Okay, this is real good all through here, down to about here. Then it starts to, see how it starts to veer off? When it does that, see what you get here, the flat look? See this flat stuff? That's because this is going out at a 45 degree angle. Okay, yeah. So we'll be good down to about here somewhere. Okay. We can get four, maybe five good planks out of this, which is all we need, because we have enough. Okay, great. See this here? Mm. See that, how nice that is? Oh, baby. And because it's thick, we can... Uh, and that's the vertical, that's the grain going the way you want it? Yeah, see it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Great. So this, this can... And see how this, this of course gets real skinny here. So it goes way up into here. See how it stays vertical there? Okay. Way too thick, obviously. But the, we can get port and starboard out of it though. Oh. <laughs> Check this side real quick. Uh -huh. I think it's quite lovely. Yep. See that way we can just cut this, you know, mill it. And, and by the way, um, between the winch pads, remember there's another tapered one? It's not as radical as this, okay. but it goes from like two and a quarter, you know? Well, see, this is gonna, it could potentially be this way. This is gonna leave us a piece like this wide. It'll make those also. So I think all four of our tapered pieces, we can get out of this. Let her rip.
Welcome to Fun with Teak. When it's on the boat, nobody will know nothing. Yeah, you'll see it. They'll go, nice deck, hey, okay, thanks. <laughs> Okay, there's the end there. Okay. Gotcha. Add three eighths. Looking good. Okay. Let's cut this with the panel saw. Maybe a nicer cut, don't you? All right. Oh, okay. Need one of those big um, wood clamps. That's that guy, if you ever got any really weird packages, UPS. I said I had a couple guitars that weighed 68 pounds. <laughs> what else is in there? <laughs> From Matt. All that trouble for that. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but I love baking them. Fancy that. Ooh. Oh, I know why. See this combing? Yeah. It leans out. See that? Mm. It's hitting here, and it's got a a good strong gap at the bottom. That's not an issue. You want to put caulking back on that, right? Yeah, there'll be one here, here, and another one running through here somewhere. Um, so I'm thinking with the caulking double in there, it should allow it to go in, correct? Okay, good. Um, high spot in the middle here, but the problem is this is sloping out. So, but not that much. <laughs> well, we just have to, that's all right. You have to massage it a little. And it'll go. I'm gonna put this caulking rabbit in here. See how it looks. And then we have to just make a little tiny, glue that on, glue this piece on tonight. We're good to go. On the outside curve like that, That'll, you can feed that on the table saw fence. Okay. But an inside curve, you can't, of course. So, we have to use this little feller. This guy right here. Mm. 
There's an eighth inch rabbit bit. See the roller? Okay. That rolls on the material. And so it follows whatever the curve is. Okay. Now we always make two cuts because this is a pretty big cut for um, a rabbit. <laughs> Probably slither in there pretty good. Uh huh. It's in there better, that's for sure. Yep, that's what we want to see right there. Now, it gets a little tight in spots, but that's okay. No reason on earth for it to be that tight. Mm. Or any other planet. <laughs> you see what we're doing here? We're kind of yeah, kind of working it in. If you are reducing your cocking double. But so well, we'll just recut it. You'll just recut it a little bit there. Ah, oh, that's better. Hmm. I think that's done. I think we're done. Cut that now. Mm -hmm. See, when you do this bevel, two planks go in here. Nice. <laughs> 